He, he says the wind bloweth where it listeth. You know it's not where it cometh from, no where it goeth, but you feel it. He says, and so is everyone which is born of the Holy Ghost. They don't predict us. They don't know where we come from. They don't know where we go. They don't know how we eat or where we sleep. They don't know how we do anything we do, but they feel us. The world outside is confused. From the time the Holy Spirit came on the earth and started to dwell in men, the world outside was confounded. Men from without are very confounded beings. I don't care how orderly they look, they are confounded. Acts chapter 2, verse 1. Suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire. And as it sat upon each of them, they were all filled. They were all filled. Hallelujah. And remember, in, in, in Acts verse 1, they were in one accord. That means they were in agreement of spirit. They were in one accord. They were in one language. One understanding hallelujah and the bible says and there came a sound of heaven as a rushing mighty wind and it filled all the house where they were seated and there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire and it sat upon each of them and they were all the bible says filled with the holy ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the spirit gave them utterance and they were dwelling at they that were dwelling at jerusalem those were jews devout men out of every nation under heaven and the bible says and now listen this was noised abroad the multitudes came together listen and they were confounded something within the upper room confounded men outside in genesis the one one language god came and confounded them in acts god is with them he makes them one and confounds everybody outside praise god tell somebody we confound them we confuse those guys hallelujah he, he says the wind bloweth where it listeth. You know it's not where it cometh from, no where it goeth, but you feel it. He says, and so is everyone which is born of the Holy Ghost. They don't predict us. They don't know where we come from. They don't know where we go. They don't know how we eat or where we sleep. They don't know how we do anything we do, but they feel us. Paul says you are a written epistle, known and read by all men. Did you hear that? He didn't say all men in America. He didn't say all men who know you. He didn't say all the friends you have in Russia. He didn't say all your connections in Nigeria. No, he didn't say your cousins in Bangladesh. He didn't say your sister in Pakistan. He didn't say your uncle in India. No, he says we are read by all men. God has given you and I the ability with a branded spirit enough for any man to read you. Then I ask you, so why don't you have influence? Very simple. You're read differently. When men look at you, they read you differently. When men look at you, they don't read you like a child of God. They read you like a normal person. Brand is a very powerful thing. Brand is a very powerful thing. If I mention Coca-Cola, some comes in your head. There are many drinks out there. And probably they are better than better Coca-Cola. But Coca-Cola has built a brand in it, men's spirits. You understand what I'm saying? There are certain cars that are better than others. Not because they were made better, but because they have stronger brands. You're a branded spirit. You have put on Christ. He says you are the light of the world. You are the salt of the earth. You are the city on a hill. You cannot be here. There is something on you. And that is why I exercise my senses of the spirit when I'm praying. I don't say, God, help me. Come from heaven and just come and do something for me. No, I don't do that. I get in my room and I say, I am a kosher. I'm the most anointed preacher on the face of the earth. I'm so proud of you. No, that's not proud of me. Say it too. There is enough space for all of us. I'm branded expensively in the name of Jesus. I am deep in the name of Jesus. I'm very anointed in the name of Jesus. You've been made my wisdom. I'm wise in the name of Jesus. The paths are dropped unto me in pleasant places. I have a goodly heritage. My paths are dropping with greatness. I am shaking this world. Hallelujah. From north to south, from 
east to west i'm attracting everything that i need in this world why because greater is he that is within me than the devil that is in the world god is working in me both to will and to do according to his good pleasure i'm enlarging my tent and i'm sparing not because god has called me to shake this world i tell myself every day i'm branding my spirit that the communication of your faith will become effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing which is in you which is in christ You brand your spirit. You brand your spirit. You brand your spirit. Hallelujah. You brand your spirit. You say, I'm the greatest there is. Oh, but that's so proud of you. There are other guys who are greater than you. Yes, let them say too. You see, God has created worlds for us. He hasn't created the world for us. I don't know whether you understand Christians. That's limitation. God has not created world, the world for you. He has created worlds, plural. He says, by faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. This word of God has worlds in it. Not world, one world. That's why we can't compete with each other. There's no competition. You're creating your world. You're free. You're free. The word of God is not limited to this world. It's eternal. It's eternal. It's above your space and your time. You say, ah, oh, no, how can I believe this? If this is happening and this is happening and this is happening, how can I believe this? It's, it's because you are submitting your thought to the world. He says, be not conformed to this world. Don't be not conformed. It says, I appeal you therefore, and I beg of you in view of all the masses of God to make a decisive dis dedication of your bodies, presenting all your members' faculties as living sacrifice, holy, devoted, da, 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 da. Verse 2, be not conformed to this world, this age. Listen, fashioned after and adopting to ex external superficial customs. Don't fashion yourself after. and We don't adopt to the world. No, The world adopts to us. Praise God. He says, don't fashion yourself. Don't adopt to this world. No, let the world adopt to you. Don't yield into its ideas. The way the world thinks. I refuse to think the way the world thinks. No, I am different. Hallelujah. He says, but be called transformed and changed by the entire renewal of your mind. By its new ideas and its new attitude. So that you may prove for yourself. The word of God gives you another idea. It gives you another attitude. It gives you another attitude. The word of God has given us worlds. You can choose which world you want to belong to. You can choose how big you want to be. How rich you want to be. How successful you want to be. How strong you want to be. How influential you. He says you choose. Choose. Life and death, and death are in the power of the tongue. Create with your tongue. Kill with your tongue. Think funny. You'll die funny. Hallelujah think blessed you come on i know who i am and who is inside me the devil is supposed to be saying how do i stop these guys 